Hey everybody, welcome back to Gina's Kitchen. Um, I am going to do, I guess, a couple of videos today. That way I can have my weekend off. I, it looks like it's going to be pretty busy, so I need to have time to do what I got to do this weekend. Um, so, today we are going to make two meals. I'm going to do two videos of it, and basically that'll be Thursday and Friday for next week. Um, so the first meal we are doing is going to be a, a beef meal. Um, it's going to be like a beef stir fry. Um, on my little cutting board here, I've got celery, a couple cloves of garlic, half an onion, some carrots, and some bell peppers. Those bell peppers were in my freezer. That's the last of them. There are no more. And we are going to basically just dump these down in here. I just don't want to make a big mess. I'm one of those people that if a mess can occur, it will happen to me. So, we are literally just going to put all this stuff down in here. No big deal. And... I tell y'all, today has not been Gina's day. Everything has not come up Gina today. Some days it does, and some days it just doesn't. Anyways, we, uh, this is the last of my celery. I have no more celery. I have half an onion left. Um, so, I am running low on certain supplies right now. Um, that's just how it rolls at my house. Some days I'm just low on stuff that I need, but could be worse. At least I've got something to eat. Uh, you know, this will go in my freezer until I'm ready to cook it. I'm going to probably have leftovers tonight because we've got leftovers in my refrigerator and we need to eat them <laughs> and stuff. So, we've got the vegetables down in there. All right, so now I have my beef. It's already cooked, so that's pre-cooked. Um, you know, so this will be a little bit quicker. I'm planning to hopefully do a few more, but this is just some leftover beef pieces that we had. Um, and I'm putting it directly into the bag with the vegetables so that we can put those in the freezer all together and stuff. Uh, the vegetables don't take but a few minutes, so, and the beef is already cooked, so we're just eating it back through. Now, I've been trying to go through and see what I had in my cupboard, because some of my stuff that I, you know, is running low. I'm running low on some stuff. So, today we have orange ginger sauce that we're going to put in here with this um i have quite a few vegetables so i'm probably just going to dump the entire thing down in there and use all of it so that is that um when i cook this i will cook this i'll probably put some soy sauce in it at that point um sesame oil and stuff like that i do have a little bit of sesame oil right now um so those will go in there when i cook this uh you know basically it's just chinese, like american style chinese food let's call it that um american style asian food because we all know the stuff that you get in the states a lot of times it's just not very authentic but it still tastes good. But um, to, I just take the sauce basically and just squish it around in there real well so that everything's fairly well coated. And then when I go to freeze mine, I lay them out like that and I try to pat it as flat as I can get it in the bottom of the freezer. That way, you know, you can stack them up. That kind of deal. All right. So, that's that for that recipe. 
Um, that's a short, simple, quick one. Today it's freezer meals. That's what we're doing today in this these videos I'm doing and stuff. These are freezer meals because, you know, like I said, I've got leftovers right now that I can use. But I wanted to use up um, vegetables and things like that. I do not like stuff when it goes bad. I hate to waste food. Y'all know this. So the best way to do that is to do a freezer meal, have it in there when I need it. Just go over there and pull it out. And, you know, you can pretty much just slice down the bag for the most part and get it ready to go. If you have to, just take a knife, slice the edge, pop it straight into the pan. Or you can thaw it out and it'll just come right out. So, if you're like me and reuse your bags like until they look like a sprinkler system, yes I do. I am that chick. I, I am ch uh, cheap. When it comes to my bags, I reuse them quite a few times. The only time I don't reuse a, a Ziploc bag like that is when it's had raw meat in it. I never use um, the raw meat ones a second time. I toss those out immediately because of contamination. I mean, I'm a little bit have a bit of a phobia on that anyway that's that for that recipe i will be doing another one here in just a minute um i'm going to do another video for that just so y'all are seeing some something more consistently from me and the videos i i hate doing super long videos it takes forever to upload at my house i have to have my ethernet cord connected from a computer to my modem or whatever you could, router or whatever that thing is for the internet you know and it's just a pain in the rear end it takes forever so short sweet and to the point occasionally i will do a long video but today are shorter ones so anywho i will be back in just a minute with my next recipe and i look forward to seeing you then thanks a lot guys Bye bye